Hello everyone, it's Scott and welcome to a new series of Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Skyblock. Yes, the Skyblock was just released on April 2nd and it's currently in beta and I'm going to walk through uh, how to set up uh, the, uh, the Feed the Beast uh, mod pack and walk through some of the beginning uh, uh, things that we have to do in any kind of normal modded skyblock. All right, so my first step was to head over to curse.com, and what I did was I ended up using the uh, Curse Voice browser. So you can get this from uh, the Curse apps, and then that'll launch a setup application, which will get you to the point where you can uh, connect to. Uh, curse and uh, and see uh, minecraft uh, mods now once you've gone and created an account and linked it up uh, down here in the bottom left the new settings location under plugins you're going to want to enable the minecraft plugin and that's going to give you access to this icon over here for minecraft which is going to get you into all of the different uh, mod packs in this case, uh, we can browse the Feed the Beast mod packs. And right here, number one, well, number two, is Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Skyblock. And so this is the official Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Skyblock, uh, which is being hosted by Curse. And so there's, a, uh, there's an agreement between uh, FDB and Curse that uh, I think the Curse is going to uh, be hosting all of the uh, Feed the Beast mods and everything for the uh, for the media future. So what I'd like to do is make sure that this has a, a backup option. So what I'm going to do is go into the profiles, unlock, OK. And at this point, I should be able to uh, get more content, which now opens up the mods. And let's go for, yep, aroma backup. Great. I've been pretty happy with this uh, this mod. So here we can see that uh, you know basically it just schedules backups and backups the world. So I'm going to add that to the pack and back back and here we are aroma good. So let's uh, head back out and play. All right, so I know that this just became available very recently, and what I'd like to do is check the sound. So I uh, dropped the sound levels down. I'm going to make sure the brightness is at least visible so I can record without uh, too much craziness. Uh, video settings are kind of medium to, to okay for now. Um, and I'm going to go back and start a new game. Let's create a recording and begin. Okay, here we are. Well, not much here in the world. <laughs> Looks like we got basic health, we got a bunch of apples, we've got uh, water and lava bone meal and we should be good to go uh, no idea what a chicken stick is so I'm gonna leave that alone um, I think it's pretty generous of them to uh, give this many uh, saplings to start um, I really don't know much about uh, the feed the beast uh, skyblock series I intentionally didn't watch uh, some of the other uh, YouTubers that are out there during the alpha phase. Um, yep, that just went over the edge. So let's, uh, oops. First, first, let's uh, open our inventory. Then we will break a block. <laughs> there we go. Okay, getting wood. So I do know that there's a lot of different, oh good, fast decay, awesome. So there's a lot of different, uh, tweaks that they've done to the uh, to the beginning stages. I know that uh, each piece of wood is going to take uh, two instead of four. 
uh, to make uh, normal crafting. Uh, but there's a number of very familiar uh, mods that are in the, in the Feed the Beast Infinity at this point. So uh, pretty pretty stoked to get started. So let's uh, bone meal up another one of these. Uh, so that way I have, uh, yeah, I don't have enough to, to get going. Let's, uh, I don't even have the basics to make tools at this point. So I think it's going to take a lot of wood to get started. Uh, so three pieces. I can at least start building out, uh, a protective ring around the base. I definitely want to get started on crooks. So I, I I have seen that they did install ex nihilo. So there's going to be a lot of uh, pretty interesting uh, sifting uh, approaches here to the early game. Uh, I know that there there's um, oops there goes a there goes one of the <laughs> saplings. Uh, fortunately, I have enough uh, to get started. Yep, okay. There's another one. Good. Throw that down. Throw this down. Um, so, I think that... Uh, yep, let's grab... Do I have enough to make a crook now? Yeah, but I actually still want... Uh, yeah, I want to build out the slab. So, um, in the early game, it's going to be pretty standard modded... Uh, Minecraft. So basically, punch a lot of trees, uh, grow more trees, punch more trees. <laughs> at least until you get the point that you can uh, you can build a uh, a sifter. So a sieve. So the um, yeah. So I think this will be a good alternative to some of the HQM focused uh, packs I've been playing lately, um, just because. Uh, this is a lot more open-ended. Uh, well, there there is no HQM at all. <laughs> so the um, uh, the first thing is that uh, I, from what I've seen, it seems like people are using the creative uh, pieces as the uh, kind of the goal uh, in uh, in what they're striving for. So. Uh, creative um, energy cells are actually craftable. So here in Extreme Crafting, there's uh, a lot of... I'm really not familiar with uh, Steve's car. It's a Hans Galgadorian. Um, but there's also the creative portable tank. Uh, so And then the creative mana pool. And between the three of these, they seem to be the end game that a lot of people are striving for. In, uh, in creative technology. And uh, so I'm going to shoot for those and see what kind of, uh, of craziness I can, uh, I can uh, hit along the way and uh, try to learn uh, a couple more of these mods. And uh, I did see that it does not have a uh, mechanism. So I've been using a lot of that. Whoa, hey, very good. Uh, I've been using a lot of mechanism in the... Um, regrowth uh, series that I'm doing, which uh, please welcome everyone who might be here for Skyblock to head over there and check out uh, regrowth. Um, I'm trying to at least work through to uh, to finish that series. Uh, I've noticed a lot of people start regrowth, but very few people actually make it all the way through. Uh, it is a very long uh, quest uh, series, I will say. Um, so. Uh, am I going to dedicate a lot of time to this? Because uh, I, I still have uh, an open series uh, there. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can balance the two. Uh, I might end up skipping a lot of content here in uh, in Skyblock, especially since this is all early phase stuff. And I'm not sure how much people want to see um, of the early phase of modded Skyblock. It's very, <laughs> very standard, shall I say. It's grow a lot of trees, punch a lot of trees, as I said. Um, and so uh, what I can start doing is uh, hitting things with this crook. 
and uh, my next goal is at least seeing if I can uh, get some uh, silkworms and I kind of understand up oh, there's there's a silkworm all right great so already I'm on my way towards getting string which is a uh, in my opinion a very important step in uh, early my in uh, early ex nihilo and um, the yeah so balancing the two I think is going to be a challenge um, and at least for in the early, I think there's going to be a lot of uh, waiting here, uh, but I'm probably going to make a cut actually at this point and uh, just uh, see if I can grow up my uh, my inventory and uh, get to the point where I can uh, I can craft my first uh, silkworm infested tree. All right, here I am up on top of my trees. And uh, as you can see, they have converted into infested leaves. Um, oh, incidentally, to turn the Wayla on, you use the number key zero and go to Wayla. And then uh, right here, I switch this to visible uh, so we can uh, get that uh, view up in the, uh, the top of the screen. And if I change, whoops, let's change that one more time. Uh, toggled. Yeah, I think that's. Uh, Good enough. Alright, I don't know how to get the black border around it, but uh, yeah, so essentially uh, Ex Nihilo uh, gives us the silkworms which we can use to transform uh, leaves into infested leaves. And then as you can see, these infested leaves are dropping string at quite a uh, <laughs> quite an advanced rate. So uh, all I have to do is break um, it looks like I have to just disconnect them from the uh, from the wood blocks, and they will uh, decay naturally. So um, that's good. So that means I can just uh, knock these guys down, and uh, and kind of collect the silk, uh, collect the uh, string as it drops to my uh, platform below. And uh, so, oh, looks like unfortunately it also just infected another normal tree. So I'm going to try to break these guys down. Ah, that tree's probably lost. So uh, let's uh, at least clear these guys out. And then, uh, so while I was waiting for trees to grow, I um, built a little platform up so I could get into the blue sky space. Um, so I don't quite like the, uh, the, the black space uh, below. I think it's still cheerful to have a, a blue sea below me. And so um, what I'm going to do is work on the, uh, my next task is to work on a lava generator. I'm sorry, a cobble generator. And so I'm going to do that with, uh, with the lava block that the game provided me at the start. And so uh, let's clear the rest of these guys out. Uh, what am I missing? Uh, okay, here's the last, uh, the last of the... Uh, wood blocks. Okay, those all cleared out. So let's knock these guys down and gather up all my uh, all my drops. And then uh, let's whip up a quick uh, a a very quick cobble gen. All right, it's dawn again, and I think I'm ready to start. So I uh, routed the water uh, down and uh, in this direction where I think it should uh, be eligible to touch the lava here. And so what I need to do uh, before I get this thing started is I need one more piece of wood to, uh, to kind of block off the bottom of the, uh, of the lava here, of the, uh, yeah, where the lava, the lava's gonna start here, move one block over, one block down, and then one block over. So let me break this. Yep, okay. And then this will be where the where the lava will meet the water and form the cobble. So once I do this, I'm going to have to act pretty quick to mine as much uh, cobble as I can. 
Now each of these picks only has five durability. So unfortunately, it means that uh, they're gonna break very quickly. I think I'm getting very lucky with the uh, cobble drops here. <laughs> None of them have fallen in the lava yet. Oh, well, there it goes. <laughs> I jinxed it. Probably means the next 10 are all gonna fall in the lava, but uh, so uh, let me use these eight and start to uh, fortify around the lava. Okay. As soon as I can, I'm going to want to be able to seal these guys in. Now, I don't have the material to actually pick up the lava block at this point, but uh, let's see. That'll seal that. I think one more here. Okay, let's break this and put... Uh, Yep, block there, there, there. Okay, and let's grab a couple more. I think that should be secure. Ah, oh, wait, there's one piece of, uh, of uh, wood underneath that I'm going to have to shore up. But this is a pretty good start, actually. Very happy with this. Um, so, at this point, I'm going to gather up a couple pieces of cobble. Then I can make my furnace, and with that, I can then uh, get started on uh, a sieve. Actually, with the furnace, I can make charcoal, and with charcoal, I can start putting uh, torches around the uh, base, so that way I can start to expand up at night, and that's a pretty... Okay, so that's the end of my... Uh, beep. That's going to be the end of my pickaxes. Let's take a look. Uh, I think this is pretty good. Am I sparking anywhere? Doesn't really look like it. Let's see. Okay, that'll seal that in. Good. And yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, let me make um, a... Let's see, can I make a pickaxe? Or is it a restricted formula? Nope, I can actually make a stone pickaxe. 63, that's pretty good. Cool, cool. Alright, so that's enough to make... Whoops, no, it's not. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's grab uh, four more of these. Actually, I'm on a pretty good roll here. Yeah, this is working out great. Alright, that just burnt down the entire pick. And I got 47 cobblestone out of it. Alright, that's pretty cool. So, let's whip up a furnace here. Slab furnace. Great. And let's add that to my crafting mix over here. So I think this is this upper level is going to be my uh, crafting zone. So let's... Um, I really should build out this stair a little bit more, but let me start uh, making at least a couple of um, charcoal. Then I can get some basic lighting around the base. Great. Okay. So let's now focus on Tinker's Construct. Alright, the first table is a stencil table. So I've made blank patterns uh, using um, wood and, uh, and uh, sticks. And so each of these patterns I can use to... Uh, to craft uh, various aspects of tools. So I'm going to grab a tool binding and a pickaxe head. Great. 
And so with that, I can move over to the part builder. And so this is going to take a, a pattern and it basically associate uh, a part uh, and create the... Uh, oh, cool. So a pickaxe head in cobblestone is going to create a uh, stone head, which uh, is one of the slowest uh, mining tools. But you see it does have twice the durability of... Uh, of just making a uh, standard uh, uh, cobble pickaxe. So let's grab the stone binding and the stone shard, which is left over. And uh, with that, let's then grab another piece of wood. And craft up some sticks. And then head over to the third station, the tool station. So I want to make a uh, pickaxe. So pickaxe head, pickaxe binding, uh, regular sticks. And that's going to give me the lowest tier of the uh, stone pickaxe, which um, has 131 durability. But more importantly, it's repairable. So the... Um, the good thing about this is now if I need, if I uh, use up the pickaxe, I can just add more cobble to it and it'll retain the, uh, the experience that it has because it looks like we have Iguana's uh, Tweaks installed. When I moused over this, you can see that there's skill XP. Uh, so that's uh, something that uh, the more I use it, it's going to give the, uh, the axe some random uh, bonuses. So. Uh, let's head back over here and let's build a a axe head. Great, and then we can craft that together here to make a hatchet, which is basically a stone axe. And then the third thing I want to make is let's uh, get a shovel uh, pattern. Head over here and build. Uh, I'm going to grab two uh, shovel heads and one more uh, axe head. And then let's head over and let's make a uh, stone shovel with one of the axe heads. And then the last thing I want to make is what's called a mattock. And this is a hybrid uh, between a hoe and an axe. Um, so it's made uh, using an axe and a uh, shovel. And we'll throw in the uh, stick. And with that, we now have our stone mattock. So these are our basic... Whoa! No, 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 no. No, you don't. What are you doing? Almost put my... Uh, set my base on fire. All right, so... Yeah, let's, uh, let's repair this. <laughs> Before I lose my... Uh, before I lose my uh, water source block here. Uh, okay, I have water like everywhere now. So let's... Uh, that there, that there. Okay. Hmm. Not sure what caused that. Uh, am I going to have to seal this in? Probably. Um, what's the best way to do that? Actually, let's start using my axe. Whoops, lost it. Whoops. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go underneath, I think. And uh, let's head over here. Let me just knock this tree back a bit. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's cutting through it so fast now. Love it. All right, let's. Uh, what do I have to do to repair? Um, where did I put this? Okay, 36 cobble. Let's uh, check out. Okay, grab the charcoal and let's whip up some torches here. Hallelujah, torches! <laughs> Never thought I'd be so happy to see them. Okay, so that means I can now. Light up the base, which is going to uh, prevent critters from spawning. 
case they were going to spawn, but I don't think they were. But the, the increased light levels will definitely help the, uh, the, um, the oak trees grow faster. And let's dump off, since I'm going to be doing some under, uh, under base exploration here, let's uh, dump off all my extra tools. Actually, uh, I could probably platform my way over there now, can't I? Yeah, okay. So let's do that instead. Um, yep. There we go. So underneath, uh, let's put down cobble. Okay. Uh, what I'm imagining is here. Okay, that's sealed in. Uh, hmm. Okay. Pretty messy right now, but I don't have the means to uh, to fix it. Um, okay, so there, there. Why are you on fire? Okay, I think that's fixed. Yep, great. So, let's make a entrance way over here. And what I'd like to do is, what would I like to do? Uh, let's build up a ramp like this. And so all I have to do is stand right here and collect the uh, collect the cobble as it uh, as it drops. Um, yeah, that's not going to work. So let's put a wood slab here to act as a backing because the pickaxe cannot cut through the wood in the time that it takes for the uh, for the next block to spawn. So uh, this way, uh, I can just sit here and spam the uh, the pickaxe. And that's going to give me lots and lots of cobble. Alright, I think we're ready for the next standard ex nihilo block, which is the oak sieve. So, let's find it here. Okay. So, this is going to require two silk mesh, two oak wood, and each mesh is going to be uh, two, or actually nine, of the string that we got from the uh, silkworms. So, let's craft this up. And big bink, big bink, big bink, and one more. Okay, done. And what the sieve does is it is a um, method uh, basically uh, creating items out of thin air. So let's place it over here. One, two, three, and voila. And so what we can do is we can add uh, material to the sieve. And the beginning uh, base material is to create dirt. And so I'm going to do that with a ex nihilo oak barrel. I'm going to fill this with saplings. So it takes eight saplings for every uh, one piece of dirt that you want to create. And it looks like I have 61 saplings here so um, not a bad start but it's also not I'm gonna need a lot more than this once I get going so let's see if I can craft up another uh, let's grab some more slabs uh, here let's make one more so I can do a little bit of parallel processing uh, with it, oh, okay. Here, alright. One more oak barrel. Put it side by side. And then load this up with eight more, uh, oak leaves. So, the, uh, the oak saplings are actually not as efficient 
as the oak leaves. But I'm not at the point yet where I can build uh, clippers. I mean a... Um, uh, I mean shears. Uh, that I'm not going to be able to do that until I have at least a little bit of iron. Alright, let's grab that piece of dirt. And where can I move the... Yeah, let's... Um, Whoops. Let's set up another uh, tree space right here. And I'm going to need a lot more trees up and, go up and running. So uh, as I've done in other games, I like to have uh, at least a grid of uh, 9 to 14. And then that seems to cover... Uh, that the trees will uh, spawn at almost the same rate that I'm cutting them down. So uh, let's check in on the dirt. Okay, that's done. And so right-clicking here, um, right-clicking a barrel is going to put the dirt back in my inventory, and then I can right-click with the dirt on the sieve, and this is going to give me a random, uh, in this case, stone. Uh, it's going to give me a random drop. Let's see if there's a way I can... Uh, Stone here. Ex Nihilo stone, maybe. Uh, I haven't quite ever figured out how to uh, how to filter. Um, let's see if I'm able to filter by mod on Ex Nihilo. Okay, so here's the stone from Ex Nihilo, and if I go to Yep, the sieve recipe. So these are all the things I can get by sieving dirt. So basically all the beginner seeds here. Uh, I want that uh, <laughs> wheat seed because that's going to get me really started on farming. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, let me, yeah, let me restock the uh, the tree farm and see if I can uh, I, I can create some more dirt. That I can then use to uh, to make more uh, more trees from my farm. All right, the last thing I want to demo today is the ex nihilo hammer. So the hammer is sort of the, the next basic uh, unit that's going to smash down all the uh, all the cobble that I'm getting from my cobble gen into uh, uh, useful uh, useful pieces that can be pushed through the sieve. So now the way we do this is to make this uh, diagonal pattern, and it looks like that the up. Uh, okay, I'm going to have a pretty good amount of durability here to start. And the way that I work with this is I I lay down a uh, a strip of cobble. Let's throw down these six, and then just smack them with the uh, hammer. And so cobble will become gravel. Gravel will become sand. And sand will become dust. And so I like going with dust because this is the first uh, chance that you get to get redstone. And let's just see if... Uh, if that continues to hold true, um, let's see if there's a way. Can we recipes? Okay, so there's a lot of oh, there's a lot of different things I can put through. Um, okay, so sand. Let's see. Yeah, here's all the different kinds of sand. Copper or uh, where's our yellow sand? Interesting. Okay. Well, in any case. <laughs> The, uh, if I right-click on this, I can see all the things I can uh, produce with sand. So clicking on the recipes. Um, okay, so here's everything that the hammer should be able to, to produce. Um, where is my sieve? Hmm, okay. That's not showing me uh, what I expected. Oh, I know why, because I'm still stuck in the uh, in the wrong mod. All right, so 
right click there. And here we go. Here's the Ex Nihilo sieve for sand. So this is going to give me a lot of different kinds of drops. Electrotein. Not familiar with that guy, but Certus, a you know, that's going to lead into uh, Applied Energistics, uh, the ME system, which is probably pretty far down the uh, down the line. Uh, but dust, uh, do we have dust blocks? Where's the dust blocks? So dust will produce glowstone, tin, uh, copper, iron, and most importantly, redstone. So with redstone, I can start automating uh, some of the uh, cobble generation. Uh, my favorite uh, approach is to uh, is to whip up uh, a uh, piston to uh, push the uh, cobble away from the cobble generator. So that way, uh, I don't have any loss to the lava anymore, and uh, and it seems to work just as great. So. Uh, what did that give me? That gave me a lot of stuff, but no redstone. So I'm going to have to plow through the uh, through the tree farm. I'll uh, collect some more uh, some more saplings, push the saplings through the oak barrel, and then uh, by the start of the next episode, I should have a uh, a pretty good uh, resource mix. So with that, I'm going to call this an episode. So if you could please leave a comment or a like. And uh, what I really appreciate is uh, if somebody could come up with a, a quest or a goal, uh, maybe, uh, you know, give me a challenge. Uh, something like, uh, I don't know, see if I can craft a certain item uh, by the end of the episode. Uh, that'll give me, uh, you know, that'll give me a, a chance to be a little more interactive with you guys. With that, I will see you next time in Infinity Involved Skyblock. Bye!